Hi guys and welcome to my first video tutorial for Kirkithia. I don't know if Kirkithia is the proper pronunciation, so from now on I'm just going to say KT. So the idea is to create a basic scene in Blender and export it to get it to render properly in, in KT. Uh, this is not the, ba uh, the traditional Blender's UI, I just modified it to resemble uh, a normal or traditional 3D package like 3ds Max. But basically, this is going to be my top view, my front view, side view, and I have a perspective view over here. Remember that when I say select in Blender, uh, you select by right clicking on right clicking on the objects, not not by using using the traditional left click. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's begin by creating a floor. So hit uh, spacebar, mesh, plane, and hit S to scale the plane up. Very good. This is going to be our floor. On top of it, we're going to create three spheres. So just click on Add Mesh UV Sphere and uh, hit OK on the default value. 32 segments, 32 rings. OK, very good. And we have to bring the sphere up on top of the floor. So hit Tab to get out of subobject mode. Hit G to grab it. Grab is equal to move. And hit Z or Z to constrain it to the Z axis and move it on top of the floor. Now, if you check your sphere, you will see it's all faceted. So we have to smooth it. So go into editing mode by hit hitting F9 or clicking on this icon and here set smooth for the sphere. Now we have a, a smoothed sphere. Now on the top view um, select your sphere by right click on, clicking on it. Hit G to grab it, move it somewhere else and uh, hit Shift D to duplicate it and Shift D to duplicate it again and we have three spheres in our scene. I'm going to put them together I mean a bit closer together here we go very good now next thing we have to create is um, another plane so hit spacebar mesh plane and I'm going to scale it up a bit to, co to cover the three spheres this plane is going to be my mesh emitter hit tab to get out of uh, subobject mode hit G Z to constrain it and bring it in the front view above the three spheres. Very very good. So here, this is all the geometry we need for the sphere. Now hit tab to enter subobject mode and go to editing mode by hitting F9 and click on draw normals. We're going to check the the planes normals to see if they're pointing in the right direction. But we're not, see we're not seeing the normals because they're too small. So in N size, normal size, enter a value of 2 and now you can see this blue line over here is showing us that the normals are pointing in the opposite direction so hit A to select all of the vertices in the in this plane and hit W in the W options you will see one that says flip normals so flip them and now we have the emitter pointing in the proper way hit A hit tab to a exit subobject mode and hit A to deselect everything next thing we have to create is a camera so in the front view hit spacebar and add a camera now in perspective view if you hit if you hit on the numpad zero this is what the camera is viewing and it's not what we want I mean for a nice render scene so instead of starting moving and dragging and rotating the camera around play around with your middle mouse button in the perspective scene pan it orbit it until you get the desired render scene you want here and once you're ready just hit control alt numpad 0 and the camera is going to match that that view now uh, with the camera selected I can hit G in perspective and move, and move it hit G again and with middle mouse button pressed you can constrain it and move it out a bit very good next thing we have to do is create some basic materials but before that this is a good time to save your scene so hit control s to save and point it into the folder you want to save your file into and I'm going to call this tutorial um, this scene just tutorial hit enter twice and let's start with basic material creation 
uh, I'm going to start with the floor so right click on the floor and click on F5 or this icon to go into shading mode with which is blenders material mode and click on add new when you click on add new uh, many options sub options appear uh, this is our material preview you can preview your material several different ways and here the first part is the shaders and transparency information and everything most of the, the material settings you do here will be recognized by KT's interface but basically I prefer to modify the materials directly in KT so I just create the diffuse, uh, diffuse materials here in Blender so I like to bring the specular level down to zero and just change the color for the floor I'm, I'm going to use some orangish tone here and just now I'm going to assign it a name so go down here and for if you click on this small car icon it's going to assign it an automatic name but it the right line is khaki but let's call it something we can remember like floor there we go floor and the material creation process for the other element uh, meshes is going to be the same so right click on the other sphere come over here add new da 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 da, da. but here's another nice trick we can use if you click here you will see we have already created one material that is called floor so you can assign floor the, to the other sphere and then by clicking on add new again over here it will duplicate and clone the original material and rename it to floor.001 so now we can just change the color in this case I want red and rename it and we are not affecting the original material so do the same with the other spheres so I right click on the other sphere yeah, I, now I can use floor or red whatever remember it's very important add new and change the color red this is going to be green rename it there we go. Do the same with the third sphere. Uh, okay. Re remember, very important this step, or you end up screwing up your original material. Add new, change its color, red, green, and blue. And I'm going to call it blue. And the last material is going to be the emitter. So select the emitter, right click on it. Yeah, yeah add any of the existing materials. Add new again and we're going to change this into white something funny about blender if I hit on the auto material here it's going to call it gray instead of white so it seems like white doesn't exist in the blender material names but I'm going to rename it to white very good so that's our basic scene and now all we have to do if you have your uh, Kirkithia export script in your blender scripts folder you just go to file export and you will have the Kirkia XML export option. Click on it, and now uh, it's it's going to assign it automatically the same name the same name as your Blender file. Hit on OK, and now we have the Blender uh, exported, the Blender scene exported. So this is going to be the first part of the tutorial. See you guys in the second part.